Yeah, I was wondering, how do you, because I think it's only a year now, how do you look back on uh, Lucky Dog recordings? Um, I think it was, um, I, I've got a great kind of fondness in my mind for the time and uh, how that record was made, you know, so um, I don't really listen to things I say after I finish them, but... Why, yeah. why, why not? How come? Um, I spend, you know, you spend so much time working on them that by the end you just want to, you just want to finish and um, leave, leave it alone, you know, and um, it was only relatively recently, like a year or so ago, I listened to um, like the first two Tindersticks albums and had a, a kind of um, a, a view of them without all the, without all the work involved, you know. So. Okay. So, and then... Normally, how long does it take for you to to um, get rid of the w work you? Uh, um, I, d I, d I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's uh, it just kind of surprised me because um, somebody else was playing them and I kind of stopped and listened to them, you know, and um, and got a different. Uh, uh, n it wasn't like a new perspective, but it was a kind of a, a confirmation of everything I felt about those two records and the time that we made them, you know. And so which, which was? Um, it was just, a, I think, a kind, of, um, a kind of a special time in all our lives, I think, the first two, first two albums. So it's, uh, it was a time when, um, for all of us, something came together and uh, transcended our kind of what we'd done before and our expectations, you know. It was, um, yeah, so, and I can hear that in the record, you know. I can hear the amount of... Um, amount of uh, fun and uh, flow of the ideas in the record, you know. Okay. So then can you maybe uh, your... Because I, yeah, just uh, move the mic away from your shirt because okay. sometimes it, it it touches the shirt. Yeah, you can just do it over. Yeah, it's okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, well, then, well, then you haven't listened back to Lucky Dog recordings yet. Um, no, but I say it, um, it was... It was um, it was an album that um, it came from a time of I, ju I just needed some space to kind of experiment, and uh, it kind of grew into something kind of whole for me that I wasn't really expecting. And then I kind of owed, owed it to it to finish it, put a sleeve on it, and forget about it. You know, so it's um, it wasn't uh, like um, leaving songs, which was. Um, had a very different kind of expectation. It was like uh, I kind of approached it as a kind of a complete piece of work, you know. And why did you need the uh, well needed to experiment um, back then? I don't know. I mean, I think it's the first time I ever felt like that from from all all the time of making music music with the band. It's the first time I ever felt as though I needed some time on my own. So when yeah. when did it um, come know. into your mind? Was it um, Gradually, was just. I, I just found myself kind of getting back off tour and going straight into my studio. So, sort of like, even if I had a few days off, so because I had so many things on my mind, you know. So it kind of came from that, really. So okay. it wasn't really a choice that you know I, I've got to do this. So it was just a kind of natural thing, you know. I just found myself needing to kind of mess around with things, you know.